Yes, we are sincere in Estonia for the introduction. Uh, today I will uh, present uh, our company, Azad Cosmos, and give uh, information about uh, about the services Azad Cosmos offers. Uh, I personally work in the business development department uh, at Azad Cosmos. Uh, so, uh, shall I share my screen or you will? Right. Oh, okay, great. Thank you. Um, so, uh, please, next slide so we can start. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we will talk briefly about um, how uh, the Azor Cosmos was established and what type of uh, services uh, we are offering in the market and what is the uh, future vision uh, of Azor Cosmos. Uh, we will uh, briefly and detailed also uh, talk about each uh, section. Uh, uh, please, uh, the next one. Mm -hmm. Yes. <clears throat> So uh, the Azar Cosmos was established in uh, uh, so as a decree on the creation of the uh, aerospace industry. Uh, so it was signed by the uh, president uh, Hamaliev, uh, and uh, we started to uh, let's say to establish a new uh, space industry uh, in a, a region. I would like to mention that Azar Cosmos is the sole. Uh, satellite operated in the uh, region, in the Caucasus. Uh, we have uh, currently three uh, satellites and uh, it was uh, created uh, in order to support the government in uh, assuring um, information security, also uh, developing social economic um, life of everybody. So uh, we started it uh, from the two, um, 2008, but uh, the fourth uh, satellite was launched in 2013, and uh, currently we have three satellites. Two of them are uh, telecommunication satellites. One of them is uh, Earth Observation Remote Sensing uh, Satellite. Of course, we have uh, uh, partners in developing those uh, programs, um, and I will talk uh, separately uh, about each of the. Uh, satellites that uh, we are currently, uh, we have currently. Uh, the next slide, please. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, uh, the, on, on the left side of the screen, you see the main satellite ground uh, control station. It is located uh, approximately 40 kilometers away from the city center. It has very specific location. Uh, and I, I would like to uh, specifically mention that uh, the climate is very mild and we do not have uh, like heavy uh, uh, rain or attenuation uh, during the year. And also the location of Azerbaijan is very uh, strategic. It is uh, in the, let's say, hub between East and West, Asia and Europe. Uh, that's why it gives uh, so much priority for us uh, and we witnessed it in the market. So we have the main satellite current station and uh, mainly engineers are working from there, uh, but the headquarters uh, are, is located in uh, Baku. Uh, in the capital city of Azerbaijan. Uh, the uh, right side of the screen, you see the backup satellite ground control station. It is uh, located in Nachvan and the another, let's say, second uh, backup station, it is uh, located in Malaysia. Uh, so uh, for the time being, we're uh, of course using and working mainly from the uh, main uh, satellite ground control station. There are uh, more than 10 antennas and there are we have a DRS direct receiving station that uh, uh, for the other sky for the remote sensing uh, satellite. Uh, so the next, uh, please. Mm -hmm. uh, so as I mentioned uh, in the very earlier uh, of the presentation, uh, the uh, the main uh, purposes of this. Uh, satellite national satellite program was to support uh, national security information security and also to support uh, r and d uh, activities mainly in Azerbaijan in order to create uh, capacity building to create a ecosystem in Azerbaijan uh, because uh, before we didn't have such a, a experience and we started uh, let's say scratching from the zero and uh, we uh, started uh, developing um, uh, the space uh, program uh, national space uh, strategy. Uh, apart from the uh, supporting national security and r and activities, we are also trying to expand our commercial activities. And by the way, I'd like to mention that 
uh, very huge amount of the uh, sales has come from uh, from the uh, abroad. Uh, so we can say that we are exporting uh, telecommunication services, and it consists uh, around 80 percent of all uh, sales and of all uh, uh, cash flows. Uh, the next uh, slide, please. Uh -huh. the next. Uh -huh. So what are the main services as our Cosmos? Uh, we have telecommunication services, so we are offering video data services, uh, not limiting in this region. We have a very uh, good, stable uh, uh, customer base. Uh, it is around such a stable customer base around the world, uh, mainly um, from Europe, uh, from Africa, and uh, also uh, Middle East uh, region, uh, because uh, we have uh, pretty good coverage uh, over this uh, region, and uh, we have very uh, specific, uh, let's say, beams in the uh, Africa, and uh, I, I know that's very difficult market for all uh, satellite operators and very competitive market. But we are trying to do our best with uh, better air uh, coverage, with the better ERP levels, and trying to uh, expand our uh, customer base, specifically in uh, Africa. Uh, so, video data services we also offer in our own uh, region. Uh, in Caspian Sea, uh, we uh, in maritime uh, sector we also. Uh, offer visa services, video service, data services. Uh, regarding our observation, uh, uh, we have a high resolution 1.5 meters uh, satellite. Uh, it was before uh, Airbus spot, uh, its constellation spot uh, six and seven, and we have uh, acquired the rights of um, this satellite in 2014. Uh, the ground station we have. Um, uh, the, as you see in the uh, Apsheron Peninsula in Baku, we have, which is around 40 kilometers away, we have a, a teleport. Uh, it is uh, available, very secured place, and uh, there are uh, lots of, we are hosting other uh, customers' uh, antennas there, and also we have our own um, di diaries, direct receiving station there. Research and development is a, a Another important part of our activities, uh, we are clo very closely working with universities, academies in Azerbaijan, but um, also we are trying to hold uh, international events in Azerbaijan. So uh, satellite engineering, small uh, launchers and etc., are the main uh, direction of our R&D uh, activities. Uh, next, please. So uh, I would like to uh, speak uh, detailed about our uh, uh, satellite. The first one was uh, launched in uh, uh, in 2013, and we uh, have launched it uh, with uh, Miasat and the 46th uh, east degree. It was the uh, right of Malaysia government. The, this orbital position belongs to them, and we are jointly uh, uh, launched uh, the. For us, the fourth satellite, Other Space One, and it has C and Q band uh, beams. Uh, um, C band uh, and Q band are pretty covering Central Asia beam, but Q band we have in Europe and also in C band we have uh, Europe beam. And uh, we can say that the sales of this uh, first satellite uh, was not very easy because we were very first in the market. It was difficult to involve other customers to, uh, let's say, convince them that uh, they uh, should um, use uh, our uh, capacity. But I can say that uh, since that, we have really a very stable uh, customer base and help us also to attract other uh, companies uh, from uh, different uh, regions. We have, um, uh, we are broadcasting uh, above uh, 100, uh, above 100 uh, TV channels and radio channels over Other Space One. And uh, Other Space One, uh, uh, sometimes it's called Africa Sat for the Malaysian uh, part. Uh, but uh, for, we have different uh, transponders, different uh, capacity, and we're selling the services, uh, all the regions that you uh, see. Uh, the next uh, one, please. 
Yes, here's the detailed map of the coverage map of and communication payload of Azure Space One. As you see that uh, uh, we are covering uh, Africa and in the central Africa, it has uh, good coverage, uh, ARP over uh, around 42. And in C-band, we have Central Asia, European, um, uh, as you see. Yeah, yes, and the linear circle of polarization it has. Uh, the next, uh, please. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a Europe uh, beam and Central Asia beam. The other beams, uh, as you see, the uh, Europe beam, we have very good ERP level 53. And in the uh, right side of the screen, you see the Central Asia beam for KU Bank also. Uh, here we have, um, yes, and next please. Mm -hmm. The second satellite uh, was launched in 2018 uh, and it is KU band only. Uh, it doesn't has it doesn't have um, C band uh, let's say transponder or capacity, but it has uh, very specific KU uh, beams uh, band. Uh, for example, Pakistan, Afghanistan, West Africa, Eastern Central Africa, Europe and Asia, and very good uh, coverage in dedicated beam uh, we have uh, for West Africa and East Central Africa. Uh, and apparently the also ERP level is very high and the coverage level is very high in that region. We have uh, uh, developed this um, uh, project and we launched it uh, with the, uh, Intelsat and uh, also the orbital position belongs to uh, Intelsat, and uh, in that orbital position, uh, uh, I, I say that it, as it was a hybrid, I mean, we will we are expecting to have more than 15 years lifespan, and uh, from the 2019 uh, February, uh, we had uh, an active activated uh, this uh, satellite, and we had very good proselytes uh, for this uh, other space too. And we see, uh, as uh, I think all other participants will agree with me, that uh, KU band, uh, the demand for KU band is increasing and KA band also increasing. And we see uh, the, this effect in our sales because uh, this specific dedicated beam helped us a lot to manage to have around 6 to 70% per sales uh, before the other space two uh, was orbited and launched. Uh, the next one, please. Yes, here's a, a coverage map and communication payload here. So, uh, the, as you see, the Pakistan Afghanistan is a dedicated beam, and uh, we can say that it's <laughs> sold uh, out for this region because very uh, demanded uh, region uh, for the communication and data services. Uh, the next, uh, please, the. Mm -hmm. Yes, other uh, uh, beams, we have West Africa beam and you see Nigeria. Uh, I can say that if you analyze the database of all uh, satellites, you can see that uh, the highest uh, ERP level in Nigeria is uh, for other space two satellite and it's a very big uh, market as you know. And also we have an Eastern Central Africa beam, Tanzania, Rwanda, Rwanda, Angola, Zambia, etc. So uh, this specific dedicated beam uh, will help us to, uh, to develop other uh, projects and we are working with different teleports from there. You will see them in the next slides. Please. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, uh, two telecommunication satellites we have uh, in to, together, all uh, those satellites uh, make a contribution uh, to diversify our services uh, because uh, we do data services. Uh, for, I know that there's some uh, belief in the market that 
uh, uh, gradually uh, video services are losing its uh, position because OTT and other platforms uh, trying to replace it. But nevertheless, we see that there is still market, especially in the Africa and other region uh, for the uh, video services. Uh, we have occasional use satellite content acquisition, video distribution, etc. And we can say that uh, some uh, international events, uh, for example, Formula One and others, uh, also broadcasted uh, via uh, other space uh, one, our uh, uh, using our uh, occasional use services. Uh, regarding data services, uh, we have very good partners for offshore and onshore uh, services, visa services, we have, we are uh, developing new solutions in order to uh, maintain uh, a good quality of level in the Caspian and Maritime sector. And uh, mobile backhaul, IP tracking also are uh, one of the data services that we are uh, currently offering and developing. Uh, the next one, please. Mm -hmm. Regarding support services, uh, we, uh, so our, our region is that, that uh, we speak uh, multiple languages. That's why our uh, staff can support uh, our customers in more than uh, three languages. It includes, but not limited to Azerbaijan, English, Russian, and Turkish languages. Uh, we have 24-7 uh, uh, services all year round. And when we are uh, doing, um, customer satisfaction survey uh, is really uh, good to see that uh, almost every time it is uh, around 90%. So 90% of the customers are really satisfied with the uh, level of um, support our technical team provides. Uh, the other consultative and flexible approach we have, uh, so we have uh, dedicated uh, regional uh, sales managers. They are uh, with good technic technical background, trying to work to find new solutions, uh, and this is really help. It really helps us to uh, develop to understand the needs of uh, the customers. Uh, the next, please. Mm -hmm. uh, we are we have a partner teleports and. Uh, in Europe and Africa. Uh, for example, you see HorizonSat, uh, ISAT, also IABG, InterSat, Telemedia. Uh, we are working uh, with them, developing uh, different uh, data services, packages, shared or uh, dedicated re uh, data internet packages. And uh, this, yeah, this helps us to maintain uh, uh, the current customer base and to uh, to include and involve new ones uh, in this region specifically in uh, Africa uh, next please mm -hmm. uh, as our cosmos teleport uh, uh, so it was the <laughs> on the first slide the uh, image use, uh, so the um, location of the teleport. Uh, we can uh, share very good news with you that eight days ago uh, we have uh, we have acquired a certification a tier four. Uh, it is provided by World uh, Teleport Association, and uh, we can say that uh, apart from uh, the our teleport, uh, Utilsan Intelsat uh, has uh, this type of certification. Uh, we are very uh, 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 proud that uh, we managed to have a high level of uh, high level of uh, let's say uh, the teleport uh, that uh, meets all the requirements uh, that was uh, set and specified by the Teleport Association, and it helped us uh, to attract other satellite operators, other uh, companies, uh, so they can. Uh, receive the signals uh, via our uh, uh, teleport and we can deliver these services to um, Europe, Middle East, Central Asia, and uh, etc. So 
uh, this uh, we believe that this certification uh, will uh, help uh, us to att attract and uh, our new uh, customers and by the way it was introduced in 2015 in very well known event IBC that every year are being held in Amsterdam Netherlands and uh, since then very huge uh, let's say interest uh, they have uh, received from all participants and now uh, different uh, satellite operators or telecom for example from Austria A1 telecom also uh, they are they have uh, this type of certification so it helps uh, to diversify and uh, to show your uh, teleport services in the market the next one please and for the teleport services again is broadcasting communications with SaaS services ip hosting collocation services ttnc backup facilities and addition services also we have uh, the next one please direct receiving station so it is also located in the uh, in our teleport uh, we provide uh, on-demand and continuous services to other in global satellite operators and I can say that uh, we have signed uh, an agreement with uh, InfoStellar. It is a Jap uh, Japanese, it was Japanese startup and they have very good uh, type of services. It's like Airbnb for this, this uh, satellite sector. Uh, they will utilize different ground station uh, and offer uh, these services to other satellite operators. It's very good uh, to utilize and uh, use uh, efficiently the current uh, DRS system. Now we are working on completing the uh, uh, satellite integration uh, process uh, and after this pro process our growth station will also be available in the system of InfoStellar and we will offer our uh, services uh, uh, over this DRS to uh, satellite operators all over the world and this uh, full motion antenna can track any trajectory coming from the direction uh, altitude of uh, 150 kilometers and uh, so it, it, it is a very good uh, step and the first step for us to commercialize the, the station that we own and we uh, uh, use only for the other sky, uh, the remote sensing satellite. The next one, please. As can satellite internet uh, is also a new project. Uh, I, I would like to mention that we are not uh, working uh, with uh, B2C market. We are mainly working B2B and B2G uh, market. Uh, but this year with, uh, with our partner, we decided to develop new satellite based internet project. And in central, uh, we have Central Asia Beam and other uh, Azerbaijan has uh, is also in that uh, beam. We have a pretty good coverage for that. So we are trying to uh, offer these uh, services uh, within this uh, region. Uh, so the multi-service platform will support different traffic types. So they will have either shared packages or uh, dedicated packages. So industry and use cases can be different and various government defense, emergency, disaster, maritime sector, consumer private networks, etc. And we uh, we are uh, offering this with our partner and uh, we, we are also offering this over the Neotech Dialog Hub. It's very uh, well-known uh, multifunctional platform and it will enable uh, to develop new uh, data services, uh, not only for the B2B market, but B2C market too. Uh, the next one, please. Research and Development Center, uh, they are one of the core uh, function of other Cosmos. Uh, they are uh, getting, uh, they are expanding year by year. Their activities, their involvement is very crucial for us because uh, it creates a new space ecosystem. 
uh, and I can say that uh, as uh, year passes, we see that more uh, youngsters are getting involved, are interested in uh, space sector, and they are uh, participating in different contests, in different workshops, uh, in different um, projects. And uh, we have uh, uh, so bright uh, students we see during this uh, project that well, several of them are hired, currently being hired by other postmates to work in a different department as an engineer. It's really good uh, to see a, a new uh, uh, generation that they are interested in these areas. Uh, what we do, there's main areas of activities are unmanned aerial artificial intelligence, machine learning, satellite engineering, small launches, etc. So they are trying even uh, to develop uh, their our own uh, small sat, CubeSat uh, type of um, uh, satellites, and uh, is really uh, we believe that uh, in the next years, uh, uh, thanks to this R and D development center, we will have uh, more state of the art solution technologies. We will have uh, even separate maybe division that can uh, operate independently. The next one, please. Mm -hmm. It is one of the competitions, projects that have been held till today. Concept Azerbaijan is model satellite competition. It is being held annually, but due to COVID situation, uh, we couldn't uh, do it. it uh, at our teleport, we trying to do it uh, in, of course, uh, virtual on virtual basis. Uh, the another one is WebGIS platform, so users can acquire other other sky satellite data as well as create, store, filter, and analyze information layers in the platform. Uh, and NASA in 2019, NASA Space Apps Hackathon was held for the first time for the first time in Baku, Azerbaijan, and it was uh, very uh, good, interesting to see that how the participants and students are involved to solve the com uh, complex and cha issues and challenges uh, that uh, presented by NASA. And then another one, aerospace and robotics, we have a 3D printing lab uh, in the lab. Uh, the students, as you see from the uh, photos, they are currently our uh, employees. Uh, they are uh, developing a device, uh, testing it, and trying to find uh, uh, new solutions regarding aerospace and robotics. Next, please. Uh, regarding international collaboration, uh, we, uh, as I mentioned earlier, that uh, we export our services mainly to abroad. It consists 80% of it. That's why we are very actively engaged uh, in collaboration activities internationally. Uh, officially representing the Republic of Azerbaijan at the United Nations Committee on the Peaceful Uses of Outer Space, and Intersputnik also, we are uh, one of the members. European Telecommunication Satellite Organization, etc. We are a member for uh, International Astronautical Federation and World Teleport Association that uh, I said, shared the news that we have acquired uh, tier four certification. And apart from that, regarding um, remote sensing, regarding Earth observation, we are also engaged in international society for photogrammetry, remote sensing, etc. Uh, also, uh, I, I would like to say that uh, other Cosmos' uh, main sh uh, shareholder is uh, government, and we have some agency, space agency functions. And uh, within these functions, we are partnering and uh, have very active relations with CNES, with ACI and CSO. Uh, the next slide, please. Uh, probably all of you know that um, 
last year uh, in <clears throat> uh, to 2019, uh, IIC, uh, International Center Conference, was held in the US uh, in Washington. And uh, there was uh, cities uh, competing with uh, one another in order to host uh, Baku 2022. Uh, 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 actually, it, it was supposed to be 2022, but due to, again, for the COVID situation that it it has impacted every uh, industry in this world. So uh, it was postponed to 2023. So we will uh, host um, the world's most prestigious unique events, um, International Soneco Conference in Baku in 2023. As you might already know that uh, next year it will be in uh, Dubai, UAE, and 2021 it will be in Paris, France, and the next one will be in Baku. Uh, we have chosen a very unique place uh, in order to have very good atmosphere by then. Hopefully, uh, we will see, uh, hopefully, uh, you or some of the attendants uh, uh, in this uh, event in 2023. The next one, please. Yes. <laughs> Yes, and uh, thank you for the, your uh, time for listening to us. So uh, if you have questions or inquiries regarding uh, PINOP, it's a payload network operation, or if you have marketing PR related issues, legal, just do not hesitate and contact us. We will do our best to answer your questions. Thank you.